Now I've been using Sony cameras for a good few years now, at least five years, and over the years I've bought various little accessories, uh, some are good, some aren't, but I thought I'd show you my six favourite accessories for Sony cameras that I've used so far. Number one, this eye cup. Now, depends what kind of photography you're doing. For landscapes, you're not going to use it, you're going to use it at the back of the screen. But for me, for shooting weddings, when I shoot weddings, this just makes life that much easier. Now, I've got, here's the original that you would get on the camera. Now, when you shoot, looking through the viewfinder, you have to get really in there to be able to, to cut out any glare or light that's coming in and, and fully see the screen. Now with this, swap it over there, now with this, straight away, you, I don't even have to put it to my eye, you, get, you know it's going to be that much more, more comfortable, it just fits around the eye, blocks out all that light, I don't have to put my face as near to the screen as well, and yeah, it just makes shooting weddings so much more comfortable and nicer and easier. My only negative about it is the fact that if you want to view this screen, you see it's in the way there. I have to just like pull it out a bit. It's a small negative, but I'm happy to live with that. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about this silicon case. One negative, let me take that off, is where the joystick is. You notice I've cut out a little notch there. Now, it had a hole like it does around the wheel here, but it was too tight that it just didn't let me freely move the the joystick around as I would like. Um, you can still move it around, but you just yeah just had to give it that little bit more effort. So I cut that little chunk out, and uh, yeah, I can move it. So the eye cup is twelve pound fourteen on Amazon at the moment. It's the JJC ES A seven G eye cup. The second accessory I have is this silicon cover that goes around the camera. Now when shooting weddings in particular I use like a, a, a strap system uh, that holds two cameras and so when I'm walking around or I've got one in the hand and the other's dangling down as you're moving around it can make a bit of noise and it can also bang into things and sometimes when I've got both cameras hanging down, uh, they can bang into each other as well at times. So putting this silicon cover helps A, cut down on some of the noise of, of the banging, and also just helps protect it from impacts and things like that, and just makes it a bit more kind of comfortable in the hand as well. The silicon case is a Kinoku, that's the one I bought, uh, that is £15.00. 60 off Amazon. Third one I have. Now this isn't related to the Sony camera per se. It's to do with memory cards and it's this memory card holder I've got from Small Rig. Takes three full SD cards, two micro SD cards. It's got a SIM card holder and adapters that come with it and also SIM, uh, SIM removal tool that lives in there and uh, yeah tough metal good I've, I've done a review of it I'll link it somewhere and uh, yeah enjoy that that's good small rig memory card case 2832 is uh, $9.90 and obviously you're gonna have to put shipping on that because it's not on Amazon at the moment so cheap anyway for a good quality memory card case. Now related to memory cards another accessory I have is this little pouch to hold batteries. Now this is the Vanguard Alta battery case small it's 11 quid off Amazon and yeah just holds two batteries when I'm shooting weddings I want to have spare batteries on me uh, memory card so I keep that small rig memory card holder in the back there I keep lens cloths in here 
little bits and bobs I want with me and near me on the day in the pocket I put in there. It's a, it's a good little tool. The Vanguard outer case, small, is £11. Connected with batteries, another accessory that uh, I bought that is cheap, does the job, is this Power Extra USB battery charger. So you can see it's dual battery, got a little screen that shows me the progress of the charging and you have two options for charging. You can either plug in the lead or it's got one built into it which is super handy because taking extra leads for things is a bit annoying at times so if you can just have one that's built into um, the device it just makes it that much easier and you know you throw that in your bag you can charge batteries as you go on the go easy peasy the power extra is 8.99 you can buy it with some batteries as well obviously that costs more but as a standalone thing nine quid can't complain and finally the final accessory i'm actually using at the moment to help me record this video let me get it off the final accessory is this thing here, the U-Rig with free use because it's all about you. U-Rig vlog selfie flip screen with cold tube for mirrorless camera for video YouTuber. Does that describe you or me? Perhaps. Um, but it just works very simply. Slide it in the hot shoe. You have some extra cold shoes so you could like melt something else and um, let's turn this on and hopefully you can see in here it's reflecting up and it just makes it easier to record yourself oh by the way the urig vlog selfie flip screen youtuber mirrorless camera for video 10.99 on amazon very good like all these things are under 20 pounds under under 20 pounds they're all super useful accessories and I endorse and recommend them all. So uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully that's helped give you uh, some ideas what you should buy, what you shouldn't. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Ciao for now.